so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't wish it was easier. Wish it were better. That's what one of my mentors said many, many years ago. And the title of my speech today is called Be the Transformation. When I thought about the title, what immediately came to my mind was the thought that as a leader, you have to take the responsibility for everything. See, if you blame other people, circumstances, your upbringing, your lack of whatever it is, contact, money, time, ability, skill. And the moment you blame and you give reasons why you're not successful, you also give away the power to be able to change those circumstances. Because my wife, Stefania, she always says, words have power. Words have power. So if you say, I can't be successful because, well, you just said it. You can't be successful because. So in order for you to step up and to achieve your dreams, what we heard all this weekend, you need to be the transformation. You need to be the person that says and ultimately realizes if it is to be, it's up to me. See, one thing all leaders have in common is the decision that was taken at some point in their lives, at some point in their network marketing careers, where they said, you know what? I'm gonna step up now. Enough is enough. I'm not gonna sell myself under value any longer. If you look at the leaders, the sense of responsibility that they're talking about, the sense of decision-making, the strength of the leader, isn't that what all of us inspires us when we look at them? Isn't that when you look at them, at the leaders, look at the station, man, she's so awesome, he is so amazing, my God, of course he's going to be successful. But really what it is, it's just a decision to understand that you can be the transformation yourself. And today I want to give you a little tool on how you can always remember what are the core principles for you to always be the transformation. And the tool is already with you right now. The tool is simply your hand. Raise up your hand. I'm going to give you a picture now that I have learned myself once from a mentor of mine and now I'm just gonna take it as my own tool. So if you look at your hand, you see five different fingers. And there is a message in every single finger that you have to always remember if you wanna be in the transformation. Let's start with the first finger. Thanks, you can put the hands down. So look at this finger. What does this finger usually stand for? What does it stand for? Positive, everything's good, right? My very, very first mentor when I started network marketing was 18 years old, 15 years ago. I never really met him. Because he died before I even started network marketing. But I saw all the videos and all the tapes. And in one of the videos he said, as a leader, you need to have a no problem attitude. So if you look at this finger, you need to think about no problem attitude. You want to be positive. Why? Because it doesn't matter what's the reality. What matters is your perception of reality and your perception needs to be positive. So whatever happens, it needs to be no problem. So the company is sending you a different product flavor than you ordered. You ordered the Nebo Mango and they send you acai berry. What's your reaction as a leader? You say, I can't believe it. How come they don't even get the flavor right? Or are you going to say, perfect. Finally, I'm trying a new flavor. Right? Or for example, when we launch a new product, and now we're launching Reveal, and you will see it again. I promise you, it's going to be sold out. Like I said yesterday, it's going to be sold out. Now, how do you react? Your reaction can be, I can't believe it. Why don't they have more stock? I mean, come on, we just launched it. Doesn't everybody know they're going to order it? Well, if that's your reaction, 
you're not going to build a strong business. But if your attitude is no problem, then what you're going to say, unbelievable. We have the most insane product launch ever. You're going to make a team call about it. You're going to tell everyone, can you imagine this? We launched the product on Saturday. On Monday morning, it was sold out. This must be one of the greatest products ever. So I want you all to get prepared that whenever it hits the back office again, get your orders ready because it might sell out again very, very quickly. You understand? Everything is no problem and you need to be powerful, positive all the time. And just for the Germans in here, as you know I'm German, and German people are always very, very logical and critical and we want to be intelligent, okay? We want to be very intelligent and the thing that we learned about intelligence is that you want to be critical. Now, the first thing a German is confronted with the idea of having a totally positive mindset, we're thinking, well, that's a little stupid. That's a little naive. We don't want to be naive. We want to be intelligent. We want to see all the, you know, sides of the coin. But I tell you one thing. It might be intelligent for the world, but in network marketing, intelligence is to master your emotions and to build and use the belief systems that will get you to your goal. And if you think negative, you will never ever ever find that that's helping you. So the most smart thing, the most intelligent thing, is to do what my wife said this morning, walk by faith, see the positive, and just go for it. And always remember it looking at that finger. What's the next finger? This one. We usually use it to point somewhere. What is it? It's the vision. When you point somewhere, you know where you're going. And it's important as a leader, you need to have a vision. Without a vision, people perish. It's in the Bible. One of the oldest books in the world. And you need to understand that if there is no vision, people perish. So if you want to be the leader, you better know where the journey will go and you better share it with everybody else. People love to ask me, thinking, how do you recruit strong people? And I can tell you, with a vision. Everybody says, we got the company, we got the comp plan, we got the payout. Everybody says that. What's different? The difference is your vision. Where is it going? And see, in one book, it's called Launching a Leadership Revolution. I read once, it doesn't even matter if your team believes in the vision. And I was shocked. I was like, what? Why, why wouldn't it matter? And it says it doesn't even matter if your team believes in the vision. It matters that they believe you believe in the vision. Because that's all they want to know. They want to know you believe in the vision. So I need you to examine yourself right now. Think about this finger. Do you believe in your vision right now? Do you know where it's going? Because if you're not, you're losing your dream. So you've got to reinstate that vision. Now we come to the critical part of that uh, conversation. The next finger. It's kind of like a thing, right? We usually, I mean, I don't even know if I can do this, but pictures will probably get me kicked out of the company. So just imagine that finger to show up. So how do we, how do we use that? Well, we use it for, right? Now, what, do you, what I want you to remember, thinking about that finger is, if anybody talks negative about the business, if anybody tells you you can't do it, if anybody tells you you're not big enough, you're not smart enough, you're not powerful enough, do what you do, you just think about that finger. You don't use it, but you think about the finger. And you say, you don't talk to me about my business. See what's interesting? When we start a business, we let people treat us in a way that we shouldn't be letting them treating us. Like you start your business and I promise you, if you're new in this business, I'm going to give you a little prophecy right now. You're going to receive an email one day. And many of those distributors in here, they know what email I'm talking about. You're going to get an email one day from some of your friends. And they spent the whole week researching everything and anything negative about your business. And they sort in the big email and they will send it to you and say, look at what I found on the internet. Are you crazy to go into network marketing? This is not a good business. And you know what we do usually? We get scared. We let our positivity drop. We get defensive. We almost start trying to excuse ourselves. 
instead of remembering, remembering the finger, we can't use the thinking, how the heck do you, like, how do you even dare talking to me about my business like that? See, you've got to take ownership. One of the things that I've always realized is, yes, I'm joining Jeunesse, but starting to say that Wendy and Randy, Jeunesse is my company too. It is my company too, and you don't talk to me about my company like that. So you got to take ownership of this business and you cannot have other people talk to you about it like that. And that's when your attitude rises. That's when people understand, well, hold on. He's actually serious about this. Next finger. We put the, we put the ring on. It's for commitment. See, the point is that things go wrong. There will be moments where not everything's perfect. There will be moments where things go down. There will be moments you make mistakes. There's moments I made mistakes. There's moments where maybe your circumstances are terrible, but what you have to remember is commitment, which means you do not quit. You do not give up. You do not look left or right. You don't look at another company. You don't, you don't do anything but stay and move forward. Stay and move forward. See, more people have failed this business because they left the business than by not succeeding. See, the funny part is how do you even decide that you didn't succeed? Well, it's up to you. It's when you quit, then you didn't succeed. But I haven't seen anyone not succeed. I've only seen people quit. Too early. So remember that when you think about the finger. What about the last one? The small one. It stands for the details. See, the details matter. How you do anything is how you do everything. See, the way you talk to your team, the way you do the conference call, the way you, you know, take care of your customer, the way you take care of your distributor, the, the energy you put in when no one's watching, that is gonna determine where your business is going. The details are also about your personal development. See, you can't just, you can't just look at things and say, oh my God, it's not working fast enough, I'm not growing fast enough, instead of, uh, without reflecting, what are the details that maybe I'm missing? What can I do better? Is there anything I'm doing wrong? You get it? You have to always constantly improve. You have to always get better. And I love the constant part of McDonald when he said, 1% better every day. Can you be better 1% every day? 1% more today than yesterday. And I guess you can. And if you keep doing it, in the beginning you might not see the change, but over the days and over the weeks and over the years, you're going to be ahead, light years, of everybody else that chose not to follow, that chose not to grow. And then they wonder, how did you do it? And then you're up here. So always remember those tools right in your hand. Remember, you need to be the transformation. Don't blame anything or anyone. Understand that you're powerful. Understand that you can be the difference. And that's when everybody else is gonna come up to you one day and say, my God, can I take a picture with you? I saw you on the stage. You have to understand, it's not about us, it's about you. That is you that I'm talking about. And in that journey, I wish you all the best. My name is Daniel Dwyer, and my passion is to live my dreams and help others to do the same thing, and I hope I was able to do that for you today.